Absolutely no idea where I am with the video, so I may have already filmed this bit. It's lucky I'm only giving this engine bay a quick refresh because literally, you know, cleaning up these relays and dunking all the wiring loom in gunk and then cleaning out all the plugs would be a really boring job. Uh, I spent about the last four hours just faffing around really, just doing bits and bobs um, inside the car. Um, yeah, there's not much to see in there. I fitted a new heater cable anyway. Uh, put the heater box back in, run the pipes back through. I was trying to get everything put in on this bulkhead so I could put the sound installation back in without damaging it. Um, so, where are we? So, this wiring loom, which is not the full wiring loom, that's just like the engine bay loom. There's still a loom that connects to this here for the engine sensors and associated wiring. That still needs to go in and be cleaned up yet. But this loom... I've recovered it all, I've taken all the plugs apart, cleaned up all the connectors, made sure everything's tickety-boo. Um, so yeah, it looks much better, much tidier now, and I know I'm not going to have any problems with the loom. So that um, that's ready to go in. Uh, I've obviously just fitted a few other little bits. You'll notice there's some um, like aluminium, is it aluminium tape? Over some holes in here, so some of these holes they definitely didn't have bungs or anything in them. So these are like really whole, small screw holes. They're like two or three mil. Don't know why they're there, um, but they're definitely all the way through. There's a few others I don't think had bungs in. And I don't think they hold anything. They might hold the dash, actually. I can't remember. But anyway, I'd rather, I'll put the stickers on now. If I have to poke a bolt through and put a nut on the other end, it doesn't really matter too much. But I'm going to do what's probably the worst job to do on a Mini, or one of the worst jobs to do on an MPR Mini, which is fit this bulkhead insulation. It is an absolutely horrible job we engine in, but like this, fingers crossed, it's going to take me about five minutes, and I'll get it all in without damaging it. And like I've discussed in previous videos, I know a lot of people don't like to put the insulation back in. I think there's a couple of reasons for that. One, on an MPI, it's a complete horrible job to do two the original stuff is like open cell foam uh, and it does collect the water not that you should have water under the bonnet anyway but certainly like it did on sprout where it had a brake fluid leak here um, or clutch fluid whatever it is where brake fluid had been spilt that had soaked up into the foam that holds the foam holds it up against the bulkhead and it just corrodes it away this stuff is like closed cell, so you could dunk that in a bath and it wouldn't soak the water up. Um, so it is better. And I think it's better than not having it there because it will reduce a lot of noise. But it comes down to personal preference. So I appreciate some people wouldn't want to put that back in. Um, but I just think why we've got it apart like this, why it's easy to do, why not do it? Um, yeah, anyway, let's get on with it. Let's see how easy this is without everything in there. If you've ever done this on an MPI with the engine in, let me know down the bottom because it is a horrible job.
so much easier. Like I say, stick in the comments if anyone has actually done that with everything still in there because it is really, really difficult. Um, I thought I'd just mention, so where these looms come around the side here, uh, I've probably got to take that out again actually because I've got to spray the inner wings, which I'll probably do tomorrow because the paint should arrive. I've got the bracket to go on here for the relays. Um, where you feed this wiring through, it, you have to do it in an order. You have to get the biggest plugs through first. So like this side, you've got to get that plug in before you do the rest of it, just because otherwise um, you can't get the rest of the loom through. Um, so yeah, you've got to try and work out that as you go. I, I will just point out where I painted this engine bay, I did actually mask off the earth points. So I'll clean them up and mask them off. Um, and there is down the bottom here, there's a big earth which goes to loads of them. It's this plug here little bit corroded inside but what I've done if I can do it with one finger I pinned out the connector and block at the back bear with me so yeah I pinned it out of the back so what that allows you to do is take the plug apart now I can put that in a wire wheel and clean that up because that that, that would have been the main earth to everything and look at it that wouldn't work very well would it so we'll get that done all right there we go so that stack connector all cleaned up now look at that so that'll go in with some contact grease to make sure it doesn't do the same again actually split that apart you can split it apart there and get to both sides of the terminal and the plugs all being cleaned out as well now that is the difference between a good restoration and i think a very good restoration because people don't do stuff like that but I know that will cause earthing problems if it wasn't if it wasn't already it certainly would have done in the future so it ain't gonna now and that that will last longer now than it did originally because I'll put some contact grease on it which if Rover did um, it wouldn't have corroded. Mm -hmm.